Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. I have just recently returned to the States from Switzerland. And in Switzerland, I was basically in two places, Zurich and Basel. And Basel is actually where I spent most of my time. While there, I had an opportunity to visit a local comic shop. And it was very similar to a bookshop here in the United States in that they had books, collected works, and also floppies. And what was really interesting is that all of the comics and graphic novels were actually in English. They were all purchased from Diamond. But now I'm back in the States and I wanted to record this video to follow up on one that I released recently about toxicity in the comic book community. The vast majority of people that watched that video completely understood where I was coming from. But there were a few people that didn't quite get it. And that's actually okay. But I wanted to follow up that video with this video talking about the power that you possess as a member of this community and how that power is actually greater than any content creator, any YouTuber, any Instagrammer out there. So in this video, we are gonna talk ever so briefly about that. Stay tuned. As you heard in that brief intro, I recently created a video on toxicity and I created this video in an attempt to help the comic book community. So much of what I actually do here on the channel is about trying to make the community and its collectors better. That is my objective. But in that pursuit, there were some people that did not quite understand that video. I had people calling me toxic and negative. I even had someone call me a Nazi, which I find humorous. Uh, my goal with that video was not to be negative. My goal was to say, hey, I am observing some things in this community. Are you seeing the same thing? And are we okay with this? That video was really about saying, hey, there are some people out here that are being negative. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they're having a bad week. Maybe they have some things that are going on in their life. And the video was to be a wake up call for some of those people that might just be expressing themselves in a negative way because they are in a bad place. There are also just some people that want to cause issues and that is just who they are, no doubt about it. The video was not about shutting down constructive criticism. It was not about shutting down free speech. It was about getting people to stop and think about what they are doing before they do it. My belief is that the people that watch that video and watch this video have a bigger impact than I ever could or any other YouTuber, Instagrammer, or content creator out there. We create content, we put it out there, people consume it. But the interactions that you have as a member of this comic book community are much more impactful than what I am able to do with a microphone, camera, and computer. The interactions that you have on a daily basis as you're interacting with people at the LCS or at the con, and also when you're leaving comments on videos, your impact is much greater because it's a personal interaction. And I firmly believe that you all have a tremendous amount of power to shape the direction of the comic book community. And there are people that will outsource some of that to Instagrammers, influencers, you know, YouTubers. And I don't think that that's right. I really don't. We are all ambassadors of this hobby. And we are all equal because we are all members of the comic book community. And the, the thing is, I think that we should be using our power to better the comic book community. When I came back into this hobby in 2017, 2018, I was welcomed with open arms from other members of this community. And my hope is that we all will continue to open our arms to the new people that are coming into the hobby, that we are being respectful of people that have a difference of opinion about comics. And it's okay. We don't always have to agree, but we should be respectful to one another. We should allow people to express themselves and just agree to disagree, but recognize that the thing that we love is all the same. It's all funny paper, right? At the end of the day, that's what it's about. 
And my hope is that this community will get stronger with time and not more divisive. The world is divisive enough. This is a hobby that is supposed to be fun. Let us all come together and recognize your power and influence in that. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, but I do want to ask for your help. I want to ask you to help me to spread the message that is contained in this video by liking the video, by commenting, by sharing with your community. Let them know that this is a positive place even when we don't agree with one another. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. If you haven't already done so, I want to invite you to check out a quality publication that I am releasing called Isolation. Our issue four is available right now as a Kickstarter on swolgerpublishing.com. Link in the description. This thing on. Mic check. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yeah. Should you practice art? Or should art be your practice? I had a question, so I asked it. Not to anyone specifically, but to my inner God, you know? The one that's gonna be a master. The one that's more than a rapper. The one that's an educator. The one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts. He's got the mindset expansive. He understands that it's time combined with travel and concepts. Makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan. Straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations, synergy and combinations. You blind, we waiting, Indian style in the gold.